I've been thinking of a few different variations on some flies. And since it's thunderstorming outside, uh, let's go ahead and tie some flies. While we're waiting for the bad weather to pass. First up is going to be a dragon-like fly. Something for uh, sunfish mostly. I'm going to tie it on this size 10 hook. These aren't barbless, so... I'll flatten the barb on it because I really don't like working with barbed hooks anymore. Most of my fishing is catch and release, so if they release before they come to hand, it's no big deal. Because I'm going to let them go anyway. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Flatten that barb. Yeah, there we go. Okay, this is a pretty simple fly, which most of mine are. Thread up that hook best you can. We need to add a short little tail. I really like this to be mostly black, but this is what I got handy, so I'm going to just throw one of these on here. This will be for the tail. I'm going to hackle this on here and then wrap it back. Right about to the point of the hook. I'll tell you what, let's go a little further. There we go, come back up. Start hackling this. Palmer, hackle, whatever it's called. See, all I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to wrap this back to form a tail. And then I'm going to find some chenille, I think they call it. That furry rope stuff. Or something to make a body. See how you pull that back? And then when you go like this, you take it back, you walk it back, and it makes a nice little tail. Like I said, I want a short tail, so that's what I got. Now, let me find some something I can use for chenille. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe I got a different idea. Let me wrap some of this shiny stuff on here. I'll wrap this back. So we'll give it a shiny body. And bring it forward. It's just kind of proves you can make a fly out of anything. At least that's how I operate. It's whatever I can find on my messy desk. All right, there we go. Now, we're going to do that. Tie that off. Cut this excess. Go ahead and tie on some bead chain eyes, and I like gold. I like gold. There we go. Chip that off. Now you use a bunch of X threads. So you come back and you wrap it in a different direction like this. That'll square them up. You can move them around a little bit. Square them up a little more. Come up underneath them. X them. Come up underneath them. X them. Go back to the front. Now I want to give it two little legs. Two little tiny legs. 
two on each side, right behind the eyeballs. I'll take one of these. This is my silly string type stuff. Which is that's how big it is when you get through with splitting it in pieces. Alright. I'm gonna go wrap my thread behind the head. Capture this one. Pull it down to the side. Do it again with the other side. There you go. Pull that up a little, pull that up a little. That looks good. Now it's got four legs. See that? Okay. Straighten them eyeballs out. Whip it. Whip it good. All right. Do it twice just for good measure. All right. There's another little brim fly. How it'll work, I won't know until I get it to the pond. Probably need to trim some of that excess flash off but see it's got a tiny tail got little wings I am gonna trim some of this off the bottom not all of it just these long ones that look out of place And the ones off the top. There. I bet it works, at least for some fish. Tell you what, let me go ahead and stripey my legs. Uh, we'll use a black magic marker. And I have found that by pulling and stretching it like this, and then hitting it with a color, you get a better... It takes the color better, and then it shrinks down like that. See that? I think it looks good. It kind of sings. Plucking a guitar string. I think it's more like a violin. There. I'm going to go ahead and black out part of the eyes. And there you have a new creation. That'll probably catch fish. Because I didn't really plan anything about it, it's just a, it's just a relatively long shank hook. That'll work just fine. All right, let's make another. Oh yeah, I'll bet they go after this thing real good. Of course, I think that every time I make one of these flies, but then. It, Proves not to be quite as good as I thought. All right, let's follow that same pattern, but give it a yellow deer tail. Oh, there they are. Same, same, same hook. Okay, there you go. Same sort of deal. I'm gonna, I'm gonna use some bucktail for the tail. Some yellow deer hair. Barbs on these hooks flatten pretty easy. 
it doesn't matter what color thread I'm using because it's all hidden. Make this one a little shorter. Just to back a little bit from it. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to gather all of that and cut it just like that. I'll go ahead and throw this on there. It is shiny. Maybe that'll make the maybe that makes a difference. And this forward as much as I can and then capture all of that that'll give it a little bit more of a streamlined body and I'll go back over it again that's where we're going to put our bead chain eyes give that thing a little bit better pronounced head oh, look at that it's an interesting looking little fly, isn't it? Cut those so everything extends back. Go ahead and put the eyeballs on it. Should have done the eyeballs first, but that's all right. All right, guess we ought to give this one some legs too. What the heck? Nice thing about it, you give it legs, and if you don't like them, pull them off. Uh oh. Uh oh. I was like, Lucky's in trouble. Yep. I <laughs> wonder what he did. <laughs> Poor dog. <laughs> oh, God, dog. <laughs> Poor dog. <laughs> He's... I wonder what he did. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, that old man. Poor dog. I wonder what he did. <laughs> Made my wife mad. <laughs> oh, let's see. I need to put a little super glue on this one. I didn't leave myself room to uh, do a good whip finish on it, so and that stuff's warming up, so it's coming out real good. <laughs> All right, I think 
I'm going to leave these back legs long. Make them the same length as the whole fly. Ooh, it's rough sounding out there. And then make these two short. Like that. Maybe that fly. I wonder if they like that one. Endless experimenting. That's my usual mode of operation. My MO. Dampen those eyes. Go ahead and put a couple stripes on these. another one. It's a pretty good looking fly. It might actually work. Little dude. Number two. Probably enough for now, huh?